Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you the stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. On. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
negative about things, Naira. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? Well, oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it, turn me on. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm, the middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. Wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note. The smell of confidence is the heart note. And the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Did you know they used to carve pumpkins into faces for some folk ceremonies back before the fall? We need the juice to turn on the UVs. Get on top and activate the windmill, will ya? <laughs> Way to go, Aiden. How are we gonna grow pumpkins without water, eh?
Sounds like hell. You know they don't pay overtime here, right? Don't matter to me. I need the money. You can... Oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Good day, citizen. Aiden, still alive? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. 
Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Need to get myself a new weapon at the armory. This one's worn out. Hater wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. By doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see.
Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up, to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, 
and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah oh, yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Word on the rooftops is that water stocks are almost depleted. We've got bad season coming. above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Sure, why not? I sleep and I dream of your love. You were sent from Hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? I am. That was otherworldly. Such a compliment. You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out for special help. The chemicals turn some zombies into monsters straight from hell. Apparently, you can't go through the tunnel. Keeping us prisoners in our own homes. 
You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place, takes coconut-sized balls. Uh, <laughs> that's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry and they'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Don't look at me like that, I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? 
And what are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie has interesting people with her. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. Back in the day, I had a huge, a massive, and, and, and well, and, and a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. They sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, hundred and twenty. Uh, the, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Here, I sell the real deal. When one of us is killed, they never notice. But when the command... Seriously, there's no time for delay. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. 
I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. He promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Anybody there? Damien sent me! Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? Maiden, Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. 
That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. <laughs> Set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job. Scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't! How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop! I'm sorry! I had to! I'm trapped! Believe me! They have my brother! Your 
brother. I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Hey, you serious? You do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression, but please save him. How's it going, kiddo? It seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy.